is cricket, Pakistani style. It's hard to tell where one match starts and the next one ends. Every weekend, thousands of players compete for space here at Minto Park in Lahore. It's designed to have only three pitches, but there are hundreds. The enthusiasm is irrepressible, despite last week's terrorist attack on the visiting Sri Lankan team. Away from the crowds, the next generation of Pakistan's elite cricketers are already practising. This is Lahore's model town cricket club, one of the best in the country. 14-year-old Walid Arshad is one of the hopefuls, competing against millions of other boys to one day play for Pakistan. I want to be the captain of my Pakistani side. I want to lead the side and make it win the World Cup, at least for one time. It is my dream and inshallah, hopefully I'll do it. Walid Arshad's talent and tenacity have already won him a place as a junior at Pakistan's National Cricket Academy. He wants to spin his way into history. At the last moment of delivery, I changed my hand and it comes off back of the hand. So this is a dusra and the batsman is received and it goes the other way. And what about after cricket for you, Wally? What are your dreams? Uh, obviously, first, I, my priority is to represent the national side. Then, suddenly, I have plans to join politics. But after cricket, cricket is my first priority. So you might be bowling a few uh, dusras in politics as well? <laughs> yes, obviously. <laughs> For now, it's one dream at a time. If he makes it big as a cricketer, this will be his home ground, Lahore's Qadhafi Stadium. New grandstands are already being built for Pakistan to host matches for the 2011 Cricket World Cup. But last Tuesday's terrorist attack, just a few hundred metres from here, may have changed all of that. We were all praying, all the nation was praying, oh God, please save the Sri Lankan team. Outside the stadium, there's a stark dose of reality. This is the umpire's bus, which was shot up during the attack. It's still in the car park. Last week's bloodshed has shocked the people of Lahore. The news spread like, uh, like wildfire, so to speak. And I have not seen Lahore drenched in so much gloom in, in recent past. Aga Akbal is one of Pakistan's most respected cricket journalists. He believes grassroots cricket is unstoppable in Pakistan. But he concedes that moving Pakistan's home games offshore to neutral venues will be costly. It would hurt the pride, it would hurt PCB's uh, finances, and it would, it would definitely hurt the development of the game at the highest level. But I don't think that uh, it would make too much, a too much of a difference because Pakistanis are too keen on cricket. They would keep on playing cricket in the streets. They would uh, everywhere. Cricket has become an obsession for the rich, the poor, the young and the old. Strong performances in the 1970s gave Pakistan's cricketers hero status. With Pakistan performed well and afterwards, people adopted cricket as if it was the next best, best thing after, the, after religion. And they really, really followed it very, very passionately. So cricket provides a sense of identity. It really became big. Along with Islam, the game has become part of the fabric of Pakistani culture. The people of Lahore can't imagine their city without it. Uh, we are worried. Uh, we are worried about our reputation. Uh, we are 9 million people living in Lahore and uh, yes, we claim we are very peaceful, we are very friendly, we are uh, very hospitable uh, people. We, we like uh, uh, other people to visit us, to play with us, to, to be with us, to do business with us. The Lord Mayor admits there were serious lapses in security. He says Lahore needs to earn the right to host international cricket again. We have to prove that we are uh, more safe than past and every Lahori is working on that. You can, you can go to any street of Lahore, talk to anybody. They are worried and they want to improve the image of our city. Met the great man himself, God bless him. Former test cricketer and now selector for Pakistan's junior teams, Mohammed Ilyas, knows the business of cricket better than most. He says if international cricket disappears in Pakistan, the members of the International Cricket Council will also feel the consequences.
subcontinent is the most biggest market in the world. Think about it. Biggest market in the world, bigger than Australia, bigger than South African, bigger than England. Because all market is main market is subcontinent. If no team come in subcontinent, the ICC will be in big trouble. Which job was that? Yes, sir. Line forward. Muhammad Elias's son-in-law Imran Farhat has already played for Pakistan. He believes it's up to cricket administrators to keep young players engaged in the game, so they're ready to finally play at home again. Nothing like playing at home. And I tell you what, I don't know about today, youngster playing for Pakistan to me and the, my colleagues who play with me, I thought they were the greatest honour anybody can do and present his nation. Nothing like a star. Nothing like a star. Walid Ashad is coming of age in a nation which has been fractured by violence. His dreams of representing his country remain firm. But just what kind of country it will be in five years' time is uncertain. Since 1947, when this country came into being, there were was, there was so many who thought that we'd be wiped out. We, we are still there 60 years later. The people of Lahore are still in mourning. They're waiting for the time when their young cricket stars will be able to play at home. Can you imagine Pakistan without cricket? I can't imagine Pakistan without cricket. Pakistan will be without politics, but not without cricket.